Okay, cuties, this is a little heads up on another alternative to making videos in YouTube. It's called Vimeo, and I created a channel last night. They have three different ways that you can be a member. You got free, which has very limited uploads, but maybe that's all you care about. Then you have something called Plus which gives you greater uploads. In other words, the basic free account only allows you to upload 500 megabytes of video per week. And then uh, you can do one of those videos can be high definition, which they define as 1980 by 1080. So if you did one high definition video a week that was 500 megabytes or less, and it's possible to do that, I, most of my videos are under that size and are high definition. If you do that, then you might like this channel. It's not populated like YouTube. It's kind of artsy fartsy. You know, you can click on, go up here to watch. Okay, and then just look at the videos that are there. But like I said, they tend to be sort of boutique artsy fartsy budding filmmakers. And you know, I was born and raised in Hollywood area, so that's why this attracted me in part. Anyway, I thought I'd show you a couple of things. Um this is my profile, which of course you already see in YouTube. I use my avatar. Then you got these things called my settings. Oh, let me show you the profile page. There's nothing here that's gonna, you know, reveal anything. It's one reason I came here is because I could use a fake name, and unlike Google Plus, they're not gonna bug bug me to use my real name. So this is kind of what it is. There are certain things about it I don't like. Like, I don't like the fact that all these things are so big, all right? Um, and then they let you do a little about you thing. It can be a lot longer than I did, okay? But it doesn't have to say much. And then you got settings, okay? And that this is where you can edit the text that you just saw, create URLs, okay? They don't ask a lot of questions. It's one of the big nice things about these guys. You just, you know, do your thing. See? I joined 10 hours ago. I've been up all night. Yes. Okay? And, and there's nothing there's nothing that you saw that's not already public. Okay? So don't worry about it. Okay, so now we we got that's the profile, that's the account, profile videos. Okay, you get to select. Now, this might be really important to some of you. You get to select who can watch them. You can force it so that only people with a password can watch them. Okay, you can hide it from Vimeo if you want. YouTube really has very similar options. So this doesn't necessarily recommend Vimeo over YouTube, especially since they have a limit on what you can post. You know, for you, maybe that's not an issue. For me, it's a big issue. Um, with the Plus, you get five gigabytes a week and a lot of extra bells and whistles. And I signed up for Pro, which supposedly allows me to embed these videos anywhere I want, which YouTube already allows. But that's $200 a year, and I bet you don't want to do that. I took a chance. Okay. So that's why you've got embed settings here. In basics, I don't think you get this. Okay? So I can have it be done anywhere. I have unlimited bandwidth. It's one of the other reasons I took the Pro. Because in YouTube, you also have unlimited bandwidth, but they change it on you. You have total control over your own videos here. Okay? You can design your own player, whereas YouTube will change the player and you don't even know. Um, they automatically convert to mobile. Of course, YouTube does that too. They specialize, though, in HD. And their HD is better than YouTube's. 
okay? You can control who comments on your videos, and this is unique to Vimeo, okay? Um, I could specify people I follow. You know that follow thing that you can do on the internet? Okay, you can do that. Or what you could do is you could password protect the videos, and then only the people that would know about them could comment with the password. They can only they can get in, so then only they can comment. So that's another thing you can do. Um, you can prohibit them from downloading your video or adding to the, the, the collection, which might be good. Then you have Creative Com Commons license, but that's also true for, for YouTube. Okay? Then the content rating, that's not going to be a big issue, and that's also true in YouTube. Okay. The biggest thing is the quality of the audience, I think, and the fact that, you know, the quality of the videos tends to be better. I mean, I, so far there aren't a whole lot of features that they have th that we've seen so far that recommends, okay? You can control your notification emails, and you got more, more choices here than you get in YouTube, but they're not you know, sort of a whole hum thing, okay? Well, you get a daily update. They keep really good stats. That's one advantage. If you're into stats, I don't really care, okay? Um, you can block people, but that you can also do in YouTube. You can do your own logo, which I don't really care about. I don't know why, what change I made. The other thing you can do, and this is where, sorry, I think somebody burns his house down about once or three times a week in my neighborhood, and yet I live in a good neighborhood. I don't know why that fire engine is always going off. Okay, here's what kind of distinguishes Vimeo from YouTube. And they're well known for it. You can upload your videos from Dropbox instead of having to use the YouTube uploader in YouTube. They got their own uploader here, but you don't have to use it. You got Dropbox, Facebook, Twitter, okay, Tumblr, and LinkedIn. I don't like any of these. Okay, I wouldn't belong to any of these if my life depended on it. Okay. And of course, Google Plus is what I'm trying to avoid, so I don't want that. But it's not forced. I am not forced to link with Google Plus here. I can choose to do it or not, which is why I came here. Okay. So we saw the profile. Okay. We saw the videos. We saw advanced. And we saw apps. All right. Now, the thing that's kind of really recommends Vimeo to me so far is that when you upload videos to Vimeo with the pro account it's almost like before it's, it's like within seconds after I've clicked to upload it's uploading and uploaded I don't even have time to write in the description they have like, you know, YouTube does, they have a little area for description that you can write in and put in tags and titles. But I don't have time to write it up before it uploads. Okay? And if you have as many videos as I do, that's really important. My usual uh, YouTube upload, even with one gigabyte bandwidth uh, speed on Comcast, takes a minimum of 10 minutes. And invariably, YouTube says, oh, this is taking longer than expected. And, you know, you got to babysit the upload with them because you don't know if it's going to bomb. Okay? I have to do it, like, late at night so I can be sure of it uploading. It's kind of a hassle to upload videos to YouTube. Um, but here, you don't have that problem, at least not with the Pro, but the Pro is $200 a year. Okay? With that, you get unlimited play, anybody, anywhere, anytime. If everybody on the planet, I'm sure this is probably not true, but if, if like 10 million people were watching your videos, 
all at once, there's no char extra charge for that. Maybe it's not that high, but it's high, okay? And in YouTube, of course, that's free, but you get what you pay for. And if you if it's free, you get lots of problems, okay? Like the trolls. That's the other big thing about these people. So the two biggest things I like about Vimeo are that the the upload is like instantaneous. And since a lot of my videos are like, you know, 100 meg or 200 meg, I find that really useful. Okay. So that's the number one thing. Number two thing is that it's a smaller audience. It's a quality audience. And therefore, you don't get the... Um, trolls. I get a lot of Christian and atheist trolls on my videos. I hate that. Okay? They come in and they make their snide remarks and they prove they didn't even understand what the video was. And basically what it is is they think I'm smart, which I'm not. And they feel jealous about that. They don't understand that I just use 1 John 1 9. All my brains come from using 1 John 1 9. That's why I call myself brain out. My brains are outside me. 1 John 1 9 is what turns them on. Okay? And those people don't use 1 John 1 9, so they're all jealous and they're all busy, you know, farting around in my videos making some of the most insane comments I've ever read. Here I don't get that because people are either going to be disinterested or they're going to be civil. Okay? Now, one of the other features about this is how you can construct a channel. I'm going to walk you through that. The, a channel is really a playlist. It's their word for channel. But the channel is brain out. What they call a channel is what you and I would call a playlist. So here's one of them. Okay. I uploaded for the sake of those of you who say, Oh, brain out, you've done so many videos on how God orchestrates time. I don't know where to begin. Okay, well, I'm creating in part this Vimeo channel for you. What I'm going to do is I'm going to sort through all my videos and in order, some kind of logical order, I'm going to put up the God Orchestrates Time videos in sort of one unit. Okay, and then you can just watch them sequentially to the extent you can stomach it and figure it out. And of course, ask me questions because you can comment in these videos just like you can comment in YouTube but it's slower it's easier it's nicer and look at this HD I mean that's really that's actually a better quality than the original video okay and I can change the color to the player but I haven't okay now watch let's say that I want to change the way the channel works Oh, God, I think I forgot how to do this. There's supposed to be a mechanism by which I can... Oh, I know what it is. got to go back. Watch this. See that little thing? That's like the Google thing with the gears. All right. This is where I can edit the, the content of the video description. I can make my own URL to the thing. I'm not stuck with that funky URL that, that YouTube gives me. In a way, this almost pays for the $200 a year subscription all by itself. Okay? I can make a whole URL out of that. I just called it Brain Out. I might change, I could change it. It'll be a different URL if I change it anytime. Okay? That's really valuable. Okay? Because when somebody says, well, where is it? And it's like, oh, I don't remember. Oh, it's, it's called Brain Out in Vimeo. Okay, they'll find it. You know, it's easier, all right? Now, the thing I really wanted to focus on here in this video is that they give you, unlike YouTube, honey, unlike YouTube, YouTube used to let you determine colors and you weren't stuck with this hospital white garbage, okay? They give you little formats. Okay, this you saw when you did your YouTube channel. You got stream, which, you know, they all look the same to me. Grid and gallery. Okay, the one that really, <coughs> excuse me, ends up working the best is the grid. 
I don't have a cold. I have perennial allergies. I haven't had a cold in 20 years. Okay, standard issue. That's what I'm using right now. So this color and this look is called standard issue. I don't like it because I hate white as a background. I just don't like it. Maybe you do. Okay, so let's say I wanted to change to tree hugger. See, you got blue and black, lime green and black. This is a dark brown and green. Then you got a sort of gold and black. Then you got a sort of mild magenta purple. Okay. This is what you're looking at right here. Then you got something called pink Cadillac, but pink is my least favorite color. Okay. I know I'm female, but I hate that color. Okay. Tuxedo, which is just black and white. Can't stand that. Darth Vader. Gray and black. Really dumb. <clears throat> and Vimeo Land, but this little cute little tree off in the distance, you know, this is a cliff. It's their header. Done show. Okay. I wish it did. But so let's just go to Tree Hugger so you can see how this works. Am I still recording? Okay. So we're going with Tree Hugger. I don't get to change fonts, you know, or colors or anything. You just get this one flat thing. And that's a detraction, but it's better than YouTube. Okay, saving changes. And this is the color that results. Now we're still on the edit page. We're not on the actual channel page. So now I'm going to do this to return to the channel. And that's how my channel would look if I want to keep it that way. Okay, so you'll notice that the colors, HD is their specialty. This is one of the sterling HDs that I've ever seen anywhere. Okay, so it's all brown now, chocolate brown, which is kind of cool. But you notice the text, all right? It highlights well. That's kind of cool. But if you're not highlighting it in a video like I'm doing now, that's really hard to read. By contrast, my little introduction about my so-called channel, which is really a playlist description, that's all in nice, you know, nicer, bolder, you know, but it's still too much like the brown. Okay? So here's the description going off on the right. Alright, and then you have big pictures, which I don't like. I'd rather see them be small. Big pictures of the video. This one's grayed out because this is the video that it's talking about. And the description allows you a lot more room, you'll notice, than YouTube. It's, it's, it's nicer looking than YouTube, but not as nice looking as it should be in my opinion. Okay, my whatever opinion, good, bad, or indifferent. And then so I, I load it up and I'm not kidding you that I want to I want to stress this. In the time it took me to upload these five videos, it would have taken that's the same amount of time as it took me to upload one of them in YouTube. Or nearly. Okay? I'm telling you, it was almost instantaneous. Of course this one was only like seven minutes. And this one was five minutes. And I think this one was seven minutes. But even a seven minute video can take ten minutes minimum. This this was like seconds. Okay? Because I have a pro account. If you don't have a pro account, it'll be really slow to upload. If you have a free account, it'll be slow to upload. If you pay sixty dollars a year, which is five dollars a month then it'll be much faster, but not as fast as the pro. With the pro, it's like bing, 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 done. Okay. And that matters to me because I own a business and I don't have time to babysit uploads. But I have to do these videos, okay. So that could be really important. But anyway, you get good sense of what the video is about. And the other thing I didn't tell you, let me click on one of them. Okay. Oops, that's not the place I want to go. Now, come on, where is this? My videos, okay? Here we go, we're going to my videos. See each one of these little setting thing? Okay? Okay, now watch. This is the setting for just that video, okay? You can use what they give you as the default screen capture they took during the video. Or, you can... You can choose a frame of your own choosing within the video. Or you can have it be random. Or 
you can take a still that you already put on your computer and upload it and have that be your thumbnail. Is that cool or what? All right, that matters. Because you know how when YouTube does it, sometimes they, they pick, you know, if you did a face video and, and just for a second you were scratching your nose, but the way they, t they took the still, because they hit it at the right moment, it looks like you're picking your nose. Okay, so it's real important to be able to have this work. And then you can stick credits in here if you want. Or talk about what you did. I mean, I don't know how, you know, you do your videos and why you do them. I know what I'm doing. I got to document this stuff. Because it's not known in Christendom and everything I'm saying upsets somebody. So I want to try to do as professional a job as I can. All right? Then you got enhancements, and that's kind of like you get in YouTube. Except, let's see if I can just go to it so you can see this. I'm still recording. All right. All right. See, here's the music thing. Watch this. This is really cool. Oh, I hope that the video isn't going to bomb now. Okay, music. Okay, you can search the music you want. All right, you pick any of these. All right. But you got some really high quality videos, uh, audio in here. Much better than you got in YouTube. All right. Sometimes it's pay, but sometimes it's free. So depending on what you're trying to accomplish, all right, you might not care that it costs you 99 cents to use this audio, given whatever it adds to your video's meaning, okay? And that's not something you can get in YouTube, all right? So I think that's a good idea. At least, you know, if you really care about what you're doing, then you got recommendations customizable, all right? These are, these are audios that you can customize, okay? So I thought that was pretty important. And then you got this thing. <clears throat> YouTube also has this. My favorite one in YouTube is called HD. <clears throat> and it makes the, the text sharper. But see, they, they give you all the samples of what it would look like if you changed the color scheme. Now, in my particular videos, I don't want to do any of these, all right? But you might. And then they got like 52 pages worth of options, okay? I have no idea what all of them are because I'm looking at it for the first time as we speak, okay? But you see, there, that could be really helpful for some of you, all right? <clears throat> so we, we're going to leave here now. Um, we're going to go to video. Let's see what else didn't I cover. Oh, portfolio. I don't really like that feature that much. Okay, let's go to album. Okay, album is just like what it says. You just stick a bunch of your videos into an album that you give it a basic title and a little description about what it is. Okay, and then you lump your videos in there. And, oh, you can arrange them alphabetically. You can't do that in YouTube. You can arrange your videos for your viewers to see them alphabetically. Okay, on your channel page. Let me show you. Go back there. Okay. See, here you see this is the first one in the list. 10H. Okay. After H comes what? I. So there's I, J, K. I didn't have to physically move these videos into place to make this happen. All I had to do was click on alphabetical. Okay. It was so cool. I was really thrilled about that. See? Settings. Okay. Videos. See, all I had to do is pick alphabetical. I could do alphabetical, newest, oldest, plays, comments, likes, or manually. You can't get that in YouTube. And if you have a thousand videos like I do, this is a really important feature. Of course, I dread the idea of having to port a thousand videos over here. But hey, 
you know? So, I think that about wraps it up. These are the videos, and you can organize them, okay, any way you want. All right? And you got settings for each one. And then there's this thing called Add To, where you can add it to one of your channels or a group or an album, like I showed you. An album, think of an album as a playlist. Think of a channel as a playlist. With the pro account, you can have as many channels as you want. With the free account, you only get one. But you can have, I think, up to three albums with the free account and one group. A group is where you not only group the videos, but you've got a group of people who all belong to it. Okay? See? Many committees, communities. All right? So that's kind of cool. Now, is it worth free or $60 a year or $200 a year to you to do that? I don't know. Okay, that's up to you. And you can replace the video with another one or upgrade it or change it to mobile or it's in 720p right now. Yeah, because I, I, that was as high as this resolution would go when I originally recorded it. Obviously, you can delete it. Then you can create your own players, okay, and embed them. Now, that's another final feature, and I think I'll close with that, that's real important about Vimeo versus YouTube, all right? What bugs me, and it's, this is a real killer for me, what bugs me about YouTube is they make changes, as you know, for no reason whatsoever, with no notification, no warning, and sometimes those changes are very disruptive. You know they, they've been doing that to our little, you know, channels. But they also do it with respect to the players. I have a thousand videos. I have probably 40 or 50 players all over the internet on my websites. Because I, my websites are even more extensive than my videos. <clears throat> and then I'll, I'll visit a page to check something on one of the pages. And lo and behold, the player won't work. The embedded YouTube player won't work. Why? Because YouTube changed it without telling anybody. Okay, and I don't get that much traffic that somebody's going to report it to me. I mean, I think I get something like 900 hits a month. That's not much when you consider how much I've written. All right, but when they change the player so it doesn't work, imagine being the user and you come to a page and you click on the player and it doesn't work. That's annoying. So that's a real big reason to go for Vimeo also. I think, it, you know, in the final analysis, it depends on, you know, how you want to, why you're doing the videos you do. What are your goals? Okay, if you're aiming at the high end, um, then you really desperately need to get something more professional like this. And those are the arguments for it. The argument against it primarily is that you get very little configuration that you can do. That's the part I don't like with the channels. Okay, the album is almost nothing. There's this thing called portfolio, which is really boring. Let me show you. Okay. That's my that's that's one of the options. Blah. Okay. Useless. I don't know why they even have it. So, you, you know, you got one here, and then there'd be like a string of them here, and a string of them in black here with some kind of background that's just wasting space. Okay, that I don't like. All right, but it's still better than YouTube. So you got three different ways of making playlists. Album, which is absolutely no frills. The channel, which you saw, which you have some themes that you can use, but they're limited. Or a portfolio, which is basically the same kind of thing with themes. Let me show you how that works. I should have done this before. You have a very limited number of themes you can use, and they're all pretty bleh. Okay? But you can upload a background, which is what I did. I uploaded some, some Egyptian, you know, parchment. And then stretch it. Okay, and you can play with that, and then you can configure the player, like I did here, to change the color, but you can't change the background. 
So, I mean, is that worth 200 a year? I don't know. Is it worth 60 a year? Probably. Is it worth free? Well, you don't get quite all the bells and whistles I just talked about, but most of them. So, maybe try it. Anyway, signing off.